So you love to make music, that's your passion, that's what gets you out of bed in the morning. I don't care if you're a music producer, you're a rapper, maybe you're a really talented singer-songwriter, or maybe you're in a band. You just don't know where to put all that music that you've been putting out over the years and where to offer it to your fan base. You've seen some huge acts, some big names in the industry only offer their music on their own personal website, and you're wondering if you should do the same. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down where to sell your music, the best places to sell your music, and why. So stay tuned. What's going on guys, Adam Ivy, AdamIvy.com. As always, I appreciate you joining me yet again for another video. I got a question, really good question, from a user here on YouTube that I have queued up right here. Now, if you have a question for me, I'd love to hear it, so leave it in the comments below this video or any video for that matter. I do get notifications uh, in email and on my phone for comments that come through, and when I get a good comment, uh, a lot of times I just screenshot it like I did with this gentleman, uh, and I refer to it later and do a video. Also, if you wanna send me a DM, I'd love to connect with you over on Instagram. I'll put that information up on the screen right now. I love comments, I love connecting with all of you guys, all of my channel family over on Instagram. In fact, I have a lot of you guys that uh, I talk to on a regular basis through DMs, through stories, through comments, uh, and, and I've really been enjoying that, so thank you. Now, this question, I'm gonna get right to it, goes as follows. Uh, he said, on a different video, he said, thank you for this upload. It's been very useful, but it's left me with the same question. This is a genuine question, so please, I'm not trying to stir a reaction. Noted. I've been writing music for some time now and have a lot of original material covering many, many genres. Uh, for some time now, I've noticed that a lot of artists, uh, some of them even huge acts like Peter Gabriel or even Radiohead, uh, have seemed to be selling their music directly on their website. So my question is, let's assume that I made a, uh, a music video of my own material on YouTube and it went viral. So there was my collective audience with the, the viral viewers and a couple million views. Why could I simply not offer this track solely available to my download, wait, available to download from my own website Thank you for your time, Adam, and to your subscribers. So thank you, Nigel. Shout out to Nigel. Shout out to all my subscribers who he shouts out because he knows that uh, this is the greatest channel family on YouTube and the fastest growing music business and marketing channel on YouTube. So shout out to my channel family because you guys are part of the conversation. So Nigel's question is this. If he has a few songs and one of them goes viral on YouTube, which I have experienced with going viral because I've had multiple different videos go viral over over the years, which is actually something I'm gonna be talking about in a future video. Uh, wh why can't you just sell your music on your website, just on your website? Think of it this way. I'm gonna to try to make an analogy here. Let's say that you sold um, the best brownies in town. You just sold brownies and cookies and stuff. If you had that business out of your house, would people find you as easily as if you put a shop in the mall? or in a strip mall or a outlet center. You get what I'm saying, a highly trafficked area. When it comes to just selling your music on your website, you're really, 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 really stagnating your growth. And this is why. Let's say that you have a viral hit that had two million views. People by default are going to go to the avenues they are used to using. They're gonna to go to that Spotify playlist or the Spotify and search your song. They're gonna to go to iTunes and search your song. They're gonna to go to Pandora and search your song. They're gonna to go to SoundCloud. They're gonna look up on YouTube here. And if it's not available for them on their popular streaming platforms, the popular sales platforms, they might give up. Doing sales just through your website is okay if you have a lot of money to push people to your website. See, they're not gonna discover you as easily as somewhere, think of it this way. How many people have you discovered on YouTube from the suggested box on the sides of even my video? There's a lot of talented creators and I'm sure their videos are popping up over here, but I don't want you to click over there so I try to make you as much content as possible to keep you interested and to engage with you on social media so that we build this channel family relationship together, you and I, and we build trust with one another. I know that you're valuing my content that therefore I continue to make it. Now, if you're only selling music on your website, you're not gonna get that discovery. How are they gonna find it? Like, just think about that. How will, like, like aside from a possible viral video, which is like winning a little lottery, how are they going to find your music through the cluster of other people making music? You know, these videos get quite a few views and think about that many people hanging out at your house. I can't fit all you guys in my house. In fact, I'm doing a, uh, what I'm gonna call, I'm, well, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm calling it yet, but I'm doing a get together here in Orlando, a kind of a conference of sorts on 2019 because I've had so many requests to meet up when I'm traveling or even local guys, you know, my friends here and I just, I need to find a bigger venue. So think of your website as the venue. How many people can your website handle? 
does your hosting and, and your server size handle a uh, influx of people from a viral video? That's something that not a lot of people think of. When you get 2 million views on a, a, a video, and it's viral. It's really viral. So you're getting those views within, uh, let's say, a five to seven day, five to ten day period. That's a lot of traffic if they're interested in buying. Now, most likely, they're not going to go to your website to buy if you have a viral video. They're just going to repeat, repeat, share, and then they, they'll they look at the description box below to see where your link is. Maybe they will end up at your website eventually, but that's not the, that's not the mall. That's not where people hang out. Excuse me. Spotify is where people hang out. SoundCloud is where people hang out. Instagram is where people hang out. TikTok, formerly known as Musical.ly, is where people hang out. Facebook, you get what I'm saying. You want to hang out where people hang out because, I mean, think of it, think about it this way. Facebook ads, Google ads are the largest advertising uh, platform in the world right now because Facebook is so targeted. Google knows everybody. Facebook knows everybody, and I'm not going to get into the whole, uh, you know, conversation of of if that's creepy or not, because even as a marketer, sometimes that is, because I can I can literally target a 38 year old single mother who loves Oreos and has two jobs, and target her with my music if I wanted to, but. That's a whole different video. If you want to know how to target people using Facebook ads, leave that comment in the comments below. Putting your music just on your website is will stagnate your growth. I have so many producer friends uh, back, back from the SoundClick days when we were all killing it on SoundClick and then everybody left SoundClick just to have their own website. And guess what? For the majority uh, of the individuals, unless they paid for Google ads, unless they paid for Facebook ads, that music or that, that music money dried up very quickly because the people who were looking for them went to their website, but the people that didn't know about them yet couldn't discover their music. They weren't in the they weren't in the mall. They weren't in the the busy uh, shopping district. They were just on their own. If I try to sell lemonade from my living room window, yelling at cars, it's a whole lot different than if I go down to a farmer's market and try to sell lemonade. A lot different. I hope hope you understand that analogy, and I'm hoping that I'm helping you with this video. So. This is what I want you to do. I want you to serve with all, uh, you know, relevant media, and that's any social media platform that you're comfortable with. Uh, a website, absolutely. I suggest everybody have their own website because it's a great, even if you just use it as a landing page to send them to the platform of your own choice. It's, it's just a great thing. It's a great hub for you and what you're doing. You can blog, you can post, you know, you can, you can link your Instagram to that. You can post new music and just keep people up to date with you. And I invite you all to go to adamivy.com. It's kind of shameless self-promotion right now. I hope that answered your question. What I want you to do right now is list five places that you're interested in selling your music. Every one of you guys, five places that you're interested in selling your music. I'm talking streaming. I'm talking direct sales. And then I want you to think outside of the box and list two more that you've kind of been thinking about that might be outside of the box that you should be really trying to push your music. You know, so many people don't think of things like trying to sell their music on Pinterest, trying to sell their music on LinkedIn. Now, I just did a video on how to get uh, music placements through music, I'm sorry, through movies, TV shows, uh, commercials, even games, game developers, game development. I don't know the proper term when it comes to that. I do not have any music on video games. The other stuff, yes, not movies, just TV and commercials right now. Working on the movies and the video games thing, but... Uh, when it comes down to it, I want you guys to have seven different platforms where you should be offering your music, whether it be streaming or direct sales. YouTube can be one of them, side note. So I want you to write those down and in the comments below, I want you to give me uh, which platforms that you're currently selling on and which platforms you're gonna start taking action and really trying to push. I, I can make a whole video, uh, you know, like the top 10 places that I recommend selling your music, but I could do that in another video. So if you want to see that video, please leave that in the comments below. I read through all the comments, uh, try to respond. In fact, I'm going to be spending a whole weekend day going through all the comments, going through all my DMs, even most of my emails and trying to get back to every single one of you guys, because I appreciate you. I hope you found value in this video. If you found any value whatsoever, I hope that you give this video a thumbs up. I know that some to some of you that answer might have been straightforward. I know that answer might have been common sense, but to a lot of you guys, you're just getting started. You don't have 12 years under your belt. You don't, I mean, Nigel might have 30 years under his belt and he's he's still curious as to where this 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 
platform's going as to where this movement, movement's much better word than platform is going. Because think of how much has changed in the last 10 years, guys. Think of where it's going to be changing in the next five to 10. I have a career the rest of my life teaching you guys this stuff because I'm going to evolve with the trends. I'm going to teach you guys the newest, latest, the greatest tips and tactics that are working for me and my network of friends in the industry and in the on the independent side of things. I really hope you found value in this. I love connecting with you guys. I love sharing my knowledge, my experience with you guys. And that's just my two cents for this video. Now, if you haven't yet, I invite you to subscribe to the channel by clicking that little button over there. I appreciate you getting this far in the video. So I hope you join me for another video by subscribing to this channel. If you want to become a BFF, if you want to become part of the best channel on the, on the internet, on the best channel on YouTube, my channel family here, channelfamily.com. I invite you to click that little bell icon so you can be notified first when I upload any video just like this, which is uh, multiple times a week on a consistent basis. Anyway, if you want to contact me, all my contact information will be in the description box below, including a long list of camera gear that I use to make these videos because I get a lot of questions on that. So until next time, you can find me at AdamIvy.com.